The prehistoric oceans were home to a slew of amazing animals, some of which we will be talking about today. From what appears to be a dolphin-crocodile hybrid to a huge whale that literally ate other whales, here are the top 10 extinct marine animals. Number 10. Dear Samara Shakrasi. This amazing marine creature looks like the resulting baby if a crocodile and dolphin somehow successfully made it, making it definitely the coolest looking animal on today's list. It's also one that, up until recently, an animal that scientists weren't really aware of. Its fossil remains were first discovered in 1959, but scientists only announced this new ichthyosaur in 2015. It is called the Dirmashara, which in Scottish Gaelic means marine lizard, and it swam in the then warm waters of Scotland around 170 million years ago. Measuring up to 14 feet in length, the Dirmashara Shakrasi was believed to be at the top, or at the very least near the top of the food chain back in its day, likely feeding on smaller fish and reptiles. It was way smaller than later ichthyosaurs, which came around 20 million years later, which made researchers believe that the shift to larger aquatic life may have been subtler than the sudden shift in temperature of volcanic eruptions some folks have theorized might have preceded the change. Number 9. Temnodontosaurus erycephalus. Speaking of later ichthyosaurs, here is the Temnodontosaurus erycephalus, which lived in the early Jurassic period about 175 million years ago. It was way bigger than the previous entry, but at 30 feet long, it wasn't the largest one around. Still, it was a very formidable predator. It was a powerful swimmer with strong jaws, well equipped to chow down on other Jurassic swimmers. The species closely related to it possessed the largest eyes of any known animal, perfect for hunting in deeper oceanic waters. In fact, another has been found with the remains of a different ichthyosaur in its stomach. This monster considered 13-foot oceanic reptiles a delicious snack, and it swam so fast you would definitely pity the poor ocean-going creatures minding their own business before one of these huge creatures rams into them from below at a large speed. And then it would just open those long, toothy jaws and turn them into lunch. Number 8. Animalacaris canadensis. Before killer whales and polar bears, before sharks and tyrannosaurs, the world's top predator was probably a bizarre creature called Animalacaris. It lived in the Cambrian period over half a billion years ago, when life was confined to the seas and animals took on bizarre shapes that haven't been seen since. Many scientists believe that Animalacaris ruled this primordial world as a top predator. At up to three and a half feet in length, it was the largest hunter of its time. It chased after prey with undulating flaps on its sides and a large fan-shaped tail. It grabbed at them with large spiked arms and bit into them with a square, tooth-lined mouth. It tracked them with large stocked eyes as well. The surface of the eyes are covered in tiny lenses packed in a hexagonal grid. Each eye has at least 16,700 individual lenses, making this animal the proud owners of the most sophisticated compound eyes ever known. Only a few other arthropods have similar or better resolution, such as modern predatory dragonflies that can possess up to 28,000 lenses in each eye. Number 7. Liopleurodon. Liopleurodon was an aquatic reptile predator with four paddle-like fins and an enormous pair of jaws. Honestly, it kind of looks like a crocodile if he had flippers. Most people's first encounter with the creature was in 1999. At that time, the BBC featured this marine reptile in its popular Walking with Dinosaurs TV series. Unfortunately, the producers depicted Liopleurodon with a grossly exaggerated length of over 80 feet, while a more accurate estimate is about 30 feet. Still, 30 feet, 4 feet of which is jaws, is still a little bit too big for comfort to go swimming with. Although Liopleurodon didn't represent the evolutionary peak of underwater propulsion, which is to say, they weren't as speedy as modern great white sharks, they were still certainly fleet enough to fulfill their dietary needs. With its four broad, flat, long flippers, Liopleurodon could thrust itself through the water at a considerable speed, and perhaps more important for hunting purposes, quickly accelerate in pursuit of prey when circumstances demanded. Then again, its speed is actually not its main hunting tool, but rather its nose. Their nostrils are forward-facing, leading scientists to think that this marine reptile had a well-developed sense of smell and could locate prey from a fair distance away. Number 6. Basilosaurus. Basilosaurus was a fearsome, sharp-toothed creature that lived 40 to 35 million years ago and could grow 50 to 60 feet long. Its name quite literally means King Lizard. And yet, Basilosaurus wasn't a lizard at all. It was a strange, predatory whale. At first, scientists thought it was some sort of aquatic reptile, like the ones that swam in the oceans at the time of the dinosaurs. However, the Basilosaurus lived during the Eocene, which was long after the time of the dinosaurs and their aquatic relatives, and when mammals ruled the Earth as well. 
By studying the animal's teeth, scientists found that it was actually one of those mammals, but it chose to rule the waters instead. Now, not a lot is actually known about this mighty creature, mostly because some of its body parts weren't preserved long enough for scientists to find them. Usually, nothing at all is left of an animal that's been dead for millions of years. We do know that Basilosaurus was the largest meat-eater of its time, and we know that it went extinct as the climate changed, but we don't know what color it was. We also don't know much about its behavior, either. But based on recent fossil evidence, scientists discovered that it was a ferocious and active hunter, preferring to bite its prey on the head to incapacitate it. Luckily, you don't have to worry about running into the fearsome Basilosaurus when you're out at sea. The reason why? This creature went extinct about 35 million years ago. Number 5. The Helicorpion Alright, Helicorpion is one strange ancient shark. How and where that tooth will attach has been a source of puzzlement for paleoatheologists ever since they realized exactly what it was. Yes, I know this creature is weird, but that actual tooth world does have a good use. It's used mainly to keep prey situated while it saws it in half, and then allows it to eat it at its leisure. While again, a certainly strange individual, it's no less cool or unique. But that's nothing compared to... Number 4. The Dunkleosteus. Dunkleosteus belongs to the Placodermi, a family of armor-plated fishes. More precisely, it was an arthrodire, one of the most advanced members of the Placoderm fish. Dunkleosteus was probably the largest family of the Placoderms, and the largest animal up to that time, which would stay that way until the evolution of the dinosaurs. The Placodermi first started appearing in the Silurian, and all of them were extinct by the late Devonian. Fortunately, there's no modern descendants, and you'll see the reason why. It was a vicious, gluttonous hunter, probably ate whatever hapless creature it could actually overpower. The discovery of Dunkleosteus' armor with unhealed bite marks strongly suggests that they cannibalized each other when the opportunity arose. Frequently, fossils of Dunkleosteus are found with boluses of fish bones, semi-digested, and partially eaten remains of other fish. As a result, the fossil record indicates that it may have routinely regurgitated prey bones rather than just digesting them. Even more terrifying are their mouths, which ironically lack teeth. Instead of actual teeth, Dunkleosteus possessed two long, bony blades that were extensions of its jaw and could slice through flesh and snap and crush bones. These plates also sharpened themselves every time the fish closed its mouth, so it always had a weapon at the ready. Number 3. The Mega Piranha Piranhas are already vicious creatures. They have the reputation of being aggressive and voracious eaters. For what they lack in size, they more than make up for by gang warfare, as they swarm any would-be prey in staggering numbers. Then they take tiny bites until the prey succumbs to its eventual fate, allowing these tiny predators to take down animals way bigger than them. Now with a group of two-pound piranhas can do this, imagine what a piranha ten times that size can do. The Mega Piranha lived in South America between 10 and 6 million years ago, and weighed anywhere between 20 to 30 pounds. They grew large out of necessity, as they lived at a time when the snakes, fish, and crocodiles they likely fed on were also gigantic. These fish were believed to be as ferocious, if not more, as their modern descendants, but what sets them apart is the sheer strength of their bite. Although it couldn't have crushed a car in its mouth, the jaws of this extinct relative of modern piranhas could exert a force of up to 50 times the fish's own weight. Pound for pound, that makes it a stronger bite than even the Megalodon. Now it's time for the day's best pick. Today's best pick has a lot of similarities to seals, although at first glance, it's definitely not obvious. This creature is clearly a marine reptile, and a vicious one at that. Find out more about this amazing creature next with number two, Nothosaurus. Like I mentioned earlier, this marine reptile does have a superficial similarity with seals. Its webbed back and front feet, as well as its flexible knees and ankles, made it spend some of its time on land, much like seals do. However, its long neck, tapered body, and numerous sharp teeth make it an even more formidable marine predator than any other seal. It existed around 50 million years ago during the Triassic period and was an air breather, as evidenced by the two nostrils on the top end of its snout. At the same time, it was also a fast swimmer, even though it isn't as well adapted to life in the water as later pilosaurs and plesiosaurs like Cryptoclitus and Elasmosaurus. Even though it's not widely known to the general public, Nothosaurus is one of the most important marine reptiles in the fossil record. They had a worldwide distribution during the Triassic period, with fossil specimens discovered as far afield as Western Europe, Northern Africa, and Eastern Asia. It is also thought it was the distant ancestor of the giant plesiosaurs Liopleurodon and Cryptoclitus, which were bigger and more dangerous reptiles that came much later. 
Before we move on, do me a favor. My analytics show that only about 15% of you watching are actually subscribed. Come on guys, what's up with that? Can you guys please hit the subscribe button? You guys watch my videos every day anyway, so you might as well subscribe and keep up to date with every video we put out. Number 1. Leviathan Melville. Leviathan Melville, named after the biblical sea monster and the author of Moby Dick, was a giant sperm whale that has just been discovered by Belgian scientist Oliver Lambert. At 60 feet in length, it was no bigger than the modern sperm whale, but it was clearly far more formidable. Leviathan's mouth was full of huge teeth, the largest of which were a foot long and around four inches wide. It clearly grabbed its prey with a powerful bite, inflicting deep wounds and tearing off flesh as killer whales do, but with a skull three times as big. It was at the very top of the food chain, and it must have needed a lot of food. While modern sperm whales mainly eat squid, Leviathan used its fearsome teeth to kill its own kind, the giant baleen whales. At the same point in prehistory, baleen whales started becoming much bigger, and they were certainly the most common large animals in the area that Leviathan lived in. Scientists believe that Leviathan grew to such a size to take advantage of the larger prey. Which of these extinct marine animals fascinated you the most? Let us know down below in the comments. Also make sure to check out the channel's other amazing videos. As always, thank you all for watching and I'll see you all next time. Later everybody.